Sibling Film Ray. I'm Donata. And I'm Rich. And we are at the movie theater this morning watching Doctor Strange. <laughs> right. So you're the comic book person, so tell them what the comic book Marvel says about this movie. Uh, or Marvel what, what is it like the, the background? I guess the background. Okay, so basically about a guy who was kind of like Tony Stark in the, in the uh, uh, medical world. In the medical world, basically, yeah. He's a, a real arrogant guy, really good at what he does. Um, and then, uh, you know, he's a surgeon, so he needs his hands. So um, he gets into a, a car accident, and his hands are, uh, are pretty much uh, annihilated. So they put it back together piece by piece, but he's not able to give that precision that a, that a surgeon needs. Um, so his hands shake a lot. Uh, so uh, he goes, he tries all this stuff to try to get them better, and he decides to go to um, do, you know, go to a place where more spiritual. He can maybe get him healed more spiritually. Um, and there he meets the ancient one, who is like this ancient sorcerer. And in the comic books, it's a he. In the movie, it's a she. And she starts Girl power. <laughs> she starts teaching him the ways of the arts. You know, he's skeptical, but eventually he buys into it. Um, but you know, his whole his main goal at you know at the beginning, probably throughout most of the movie, was to get his hands healed, and then kind of after that, you know, he kind of just you know just like it's a, he's, a, he's a hero. So eventually, he decides to. Be a hero using the powers that he's learned. Very, very. Be a sorcerer. A sorcerer, excuse me. Um, and be a protector of um, of New, the New York, the New York uh, division of the sorcerers. Uh, so, what do you think about the the movie? I mean, that's on screen portrayal of the comic book. It was. It I don't was, know anything about Doctor Strange. What? I didn't want to come and see this because I had no <laughs> idea this character existed. But anyway, I think they did a pretty good job. Um, of interpreting, you know, it was little, 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 like I said, little difference here. Where in the movie, I mean, the comic book, the Sorcerer Supreme, the top sorcerer is a is a male. It was a female in this one, and, and uh, Tilda Swinton, I think that's her name. They played the Sorcerer Supreme, did a very good job. Um, and she's very when she's bald because she's bald in here. She's very, I forget the term. Uh, she, you, I mean, she far away. She can be a man or a woman. So oh, okay. I guess that's why they. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, use, exactly. Um, her. And she was very good, very, very powerful. She's, I mean, she's obviously the top sorcerer in the world, so she will be. But she, she, they did a good job portraying her power in the movie. Um, I thought it was, it was, it was a solid interpretation. It was, solid. it was, it was. The movie was different, but it really wasn't because the comic book was real trippy like that, like real. You know, with the it's almost like a '70s type feel, with the different colors, the spectrums, and all that stuff. And that's kind of how it was in the comic book. So, and, and they kind of interpreted it pretty well, I think, in the movie. So it's really, um, I liked it because it was kind of like, what is the movie that? Um, oh man, the movie that uh, Leonardo DiCaprio oh, in Inception. Inception. So yeah, it's I'm all of that right. movement of the cities. Um, buildings going upside down, right. the turning of that. I really like that in terms of from her cinematography, like right. camera shot. It was, it. I don't. We didn't see it in three D. I cannot imagine how right. it would be to see it in three D. I probably would have got sick. Mm -hmm. But um, it I was think, definitely a lot of fun to watch. Right. Um, I think they did a very graphic. good job in, of, of, of explaining how that stuff is going on in the world is still straight, you know what I mean? Like all yeah. the building stuff. So it, it's good. Um, what, what would you put it in relation to some of the other ones? I mean, we don't have to go through the whole thing, but I mean like, let's just say this, where would you put it as far as, what would you kind of say? One one above and one below it. Like as far as, you know, you don't have to go name them one through 10, but just say, what would you say is like right there at it as far as the Marvel movies or DC, EPC, whatever, DC or Marvel, doesn't matter. I would put Hulk right there at it because I, I mean, I think I really like Iron Man. Mm -hmm. I really like Captain America. Mm -hmm. I really like Thor. Mm -hmm. But you know, Hulk is always one of those. It's like it's like especially I think the first one. Mm -hmm. It was not that good. 
it was not that good. The second one was much better. But um, I would put him right there, Hope, because I'm not sure if I really like his. I like I like the cool stuff that he can do, but I don't know if I really like him as a superhero. So I'm interested in seeing how he interacts with the other people in the Marvel universe. I mean, I mean, we, so I mean, guys, just let me say this, <laughs> and I'm gonna say this to people that are in Marvel Studios that are making these movies. Now we can say for one extra credit and this extra credit comes right after the main credit so like you get about two minutes of main credits and then you get the extra scene right now they're putting a second bonus scene at the end of all the credits i'm sleepy i don't i don't want to go it's the morning time and i'm like we gotta stay for another extra scene so now it's two extra scenes mm -hmm. so thor is in this with his fine self Woo. thor is in an extra scene in this one and then it's an extension of the movie in the second scene so I guess I have to tell you to wait, and it is worth waiting for, I guess. But yeah, I'm, yeah. Now, I'm tired. You need to start putting these scenes directly after the, the, really the main do. quote, the main credits. You really do. I mean, and then there was no way to know that it was going to happen. The only way I kind of knew it was because I was reading online. It was too. That's the only reason I knew it was too. But I, didn't, I don't see how Tony Stark and Doctor Strange are going to mesh right. well together. Because right. they are going to be like, Doctor Strange is on a whole other level of arrogance. Tony Stark, at least. At least they both love two women, so maybe that's their soft spot. But I don't see how they're about to. Yeah. And, and, and But you know, the thing I like about it is that he really isn't really in there, like, he wouldn't be, like, in that space because he, he's doing something kind of totally different. Like, like he's a in dude Thor's space. Yeah, he is in Thor's space because Thor is from another, like, dimension. world, mm -hmm. dimension, you know. So that's why he would kind of be in his space. But, like, as far as, like, the Earth, I mean, yes, he's still going to protect the Earth, but on the other realm-ish type stuff. It's kind of, it, you have to see the movie it's to kind of lot. understand. It's a, it's a lot. It's different. It's, it's the guy, Benedict Cumberland? Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch? Who is this person? You don't know him? Who is he? What is he playing? Oh, my gosh, he's named everything. He was in, um, he was Sherlock Holmes. Oh! Um, he was, um... I don't know. Have you seen the um, the, the the Hobbit, the Dragon? No, I don't oh, watch okay. any of the rings. Okay, okay. I don't want to watch none he of the rings. They can have all of them. Um, he did a lot. So of course, I, I don't know now because you're asking me. He right. did a lot of stuff. So I, I just didn't recognize him. Um, I didn't recognize him. Yeah. Okay. So, I, I, you know, I, I like it. I like the movie. It, it, like you said, I think he did a good job putting the word where where kind of kind of in that whole. Focus realm where you can watch it, but it's new. It, it, it could it could have been. Well, I think it, it could have been better. I think it did what they had to do. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, it it pretty did. much had to do. They did what they had to do. Get get it get his um the way he started his um what do they call it uh that his his origin origin story. story and you know it was entertaining enough you know to kind of see how but it's, it's, it's it is a different type of Marvel. But I do want to be able. to <laughs> I would I love to be able to go where I, I want to go. That. That's true. I want to do all that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do all that stuff. All right, so we usually give you a long list of handles, but we're just going to tell you to go to one place now because it's open. We launched it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. www.siblingfilmery.com. www.siblingfilmery.com. You can check us out. You can see all of our reviews. It's, you know, ah, you know, it's not too shabby if I do nah, say so myself. Job. My sister put it together, so. It's a good website. It's nice. <laughs> so you can see all of our reviews and uh, learn more about us and see all of our cool t-shirts. See all of our cool t-shirts, too. So, www.siblingfilmery.com. Holla!